Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Adam and Nart Show. My name is Nart Lash and today we're going to talk about AI and my brother is going to be the co-host and the guest of today's episode. Thanks, Nart. And we are the Lash Brothers. So Adam, what can you tell me about AI and deep learning? Before I answer that, Nard, do you remember how much I used to be interested in AI? I mean, you're my brother. And do you remember how much I, I was talking about AI all the time ever since playing games like Deus Ex and all these things? Do you remember that? Well, you kept on talking about it constantly. And Deus Ex is like part of you know the whole thing that you were doing. And another exactly. game too. Um, was it called uh, Mass Effect 2? So you know how much I was interested in AI. I would describe myself not as an AI expert, but as an AI enthusiast and mm -hmm. researcher. Here's the thing. Artificial intelligence can be defined as the theory and development of computer systems that are able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, mm -hmm. such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision-making, and translation between languages. So artificial intelligence is a broad term, Mm -hmm. And people seem to confuse artificial intelligence with other buzzwords like machine learning and things like deep learning mm -hmm. and AGI, but they don't understand what these things are. Artificial intelligence is the general term that encompasses all of these things. Machine learning is a subset of AI, mm -hmm. and machine learning employs algorithms, and these algorithms help the computer learn and make decisions. And an algorithm is simply a process that follows a rule. If you know the word algorithm comes from the Arabic word, khawarizmiyat, which from, from the True. Muslim scientist, khawarizmiyat. Yes, that's the word algorithm, which is a set of rules that a computer follows to perform a certain calculation or problem solving by mm -hmm. the computer. So machine learning also has subsets. There's Neural networks, yes, which is deep learning. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning, which relies on neural networks. Machine learning can also be divided into other categories. For example, you have supervised learning, unsupervised learning, semi-supervised learning, mm -hmm. and re human reinforcement learning or reinforcement learning. Different AI systems employ different machine learning systems. So we have now systems like ChatGPT, which use uh, reinforcement learning. Chat GPT is like an eye-opening <laughs> discussion. And ever since I heard about it, like it just like went ballistic and everyone started talking about it. And it is really something interesting that um, anyone can use now, to be honest with you. And yeah. you can just like get anything instantly. Absolutely. And you know, AI, the prominence of AI came recently because of a technology called Transformer. Transformer was able... Transformer was like for technology. them to develop um, Chat GPT. Like how long, how, how long did it take for them to do it? Well, if you look at the history of artificial intelligence, it spans decades. It started from the 1950s, mid. Wow. I'd say late 1950s. The term artificial intelligence was coined in 1956 or seven, I believe, and that's when they had the first AI conference. Wow. And if you go down history all the way to 1997, when IBM made the first computer, supercomputer that beat the, the Russian chess player, the world's best Russian chess player, and more and more advancements up until 2017, that's mm -hmm. when they introduced Transformer for uh -huh. natural languages. And that was the precursor to ChatGPT. ChatGPT is, is based on Transformer. Mm -hmm. And then ChatGPT 1 and then ChatGPT 2 and 3.5. And now we have GPT 4. And we're going to have another episode on that, right, wow. Nart? We're yeah, going to have yeah. an episode on GPT 4. On episode four. 2, exactly. Yeah. So this is how AI came to prominence. And yeah, that's, that's exactly how we can define AI. So AI is different than machine learning. Machine learning is a subset of AI. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning. There are different mm -hmm. types of machine learning. Machine learning helps an AI or helps a computer to learn by itself and even to program itself. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing with AI is that a lot of people think that intelligence is uniquely limited to biological organisms like humans, but a lot of AI experts such as Max Tegmark, by the way, I based all of my videos on Max Tegmark. He's a physics professor mm -hmm. at MIT and he wrote the book Life 3.0 
being human in the age of artificial intelligence. He explains he. Ah, uh, you sent me that video. Yeah, I've yeah, seen it, yeah. He explores all of these co topics by in detail. Mm -hmm. And Max Tegmark believes that not just Max Tegmark, a lot of other AI experts believe that intelligence is not uniquely limited to humans. So that mm -hmm. means intelligence can be created in artificial systems because intelligence does not have a single universally accepted definition. There are multiple definitions of intelligence, but the author likes to call intelligence or likes to define intelligence as the ability to solve complex problems. Now, machines can outperform humans in many tasks, in many mm -hmm. specified tasks, like let's say playing chess or doing things like that. But human intelligence is uniquely broad. It encompasses things like driving vehicles, language processing, all of that. So pe people can talk, they understand conversation, they can drive cars, they can play chess. And all of these things are part of the human experience. That's why human intelligence is still above the current AI levels, the, the current AI systems. But in the future, we're going to have something called AGI. A lot AGI. of people, a lot of people predict this in the future.